Hello everyone, my name is Afonso and today I'm going to show you a quick test drive of the 5000 mod e-bike. I recorded this footage a couple of months ago when I got a GoPro that I wanted to test. Sorry about the bad video angle, I am still trying it out. I did this run after 10 km of driving, the battery was below 50%, but we still managed to go up to 73 km per hour. I expect that when I set up the flux weakening and the battery is at 100%, we'll be able to go above 80 km per hour. The e-bike rides well over asphalt and dirt roads, but I still have to soften the front forks. You can see pretty soon that my wrist hurts from the vibrations of the steer tube. I gotta get a... Don't worry, I already got new grips for the e-bike, so it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Here I am just bouncing around on the bike with some speed to see if I'm happy with how the suspension reacts. And as I said, it's pretty much all good except for the front forks which are a little too stiff. Something to note as well is that this road has a slight slope. That's why I can only go up to 65 now. Now I want to show you what is the current state of the e-bike. Here's the e-bike now. You can see there's no battery inside. <laughs> I'm working on mostly the wiring. I have to install and wire the brake switches. There's a second throttle for the regen braking that I'm going to install. You can see all the wires from the controller here. And also I had an issue with the battery and that's why it's out of there, it's not only for the wiring. Basically cell number 19, so the series of cells number 19, had a lower voltage like 0.2 volts lower than the rest, which is way too low. And I had to open it up and I found that cell number 20 actually, so series connection number 20, which is where this positive cable lies. Uh, one of the nickel strips was starting to get loose. I don't quite know why it would affect the cell number 19, but I have inspected everything and those are good, only the positive connection was bad. And so here is my second solution for this connection. Uh, I'm glad I didn't show you the last one because it wasn't really that good. <laughs> and so this will sit right here, this bus bar will sit right here and basically I will weld uh, nickel strips from the cells to the top bus bar, you can see it's a new to improve the, let's say, the balance of the discharge on the cells. Very soon I'll show you the rest of the assembly process of the bike, we'll have a few videos on the lights and some other stuff that I'm still working on. I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.